Hey there, Magic Flying Potato here. Hope you're doing well. And today we're going to uh, just go over the patch notes for the build of uh, 0 0.7.0, the February update. It doesn't bring any new uh, quest content, but it does bring quality of life content. I, I played a little bit on the test server and just a few things I've messed around with has been just... I loved it, uh, being able to move uh, your your all your placeables around without destroying them. Uh, the area crafting has is is definitely a game changer in the game. You don't have to keep putting things into your backpack to build them. As long as they're within five tiles, you can do you could you could craft them. So let's go ahead and go over these uh, notes. Well, I'll try to make this. As short as possible but there is a lot of content that they have added so let's go ahead and talk about the new crafting content they've added stair railings uh sprig and acorn railings for your stairs so now you can put railings on your stairs they got acorn spiral stairs which which is cool if you don't have to go too high if you have to go pretty high with it you might get dizzy so i don't think i will put this in my uh my foundation tower because i'd probably throw up by the time i get to the top um, let's see, the bracket scaffolding, so you can now build, like, um, porches off, off of, uh, uh, multi-layer level buildings without, you know, ha having braces and stuff like that, that's what those are. Uh, grass half floors and weed stem floors. I was really looking forward to these weed stem floors, because I got tired of having the grass floors. Now, the grass half floors are pretty cool, because you could, like, build shelves and things with those. Uh, so yeah, that's definitely a cool one. Firefly Hanging Lantern, really cool looking. The wall-mounted zipline anchor definitely comes in useful when you're putting zip lines onto your buildings and instead of using the big A-frame thing, those will definitely come in handy. And not played with the Shinobi Sneeze, a smokescreen escape item. Uh, so now you got uh, the new mounted head trophies for flying creatures such as mosquitoes, fireflies, and bees. Uh, so then all platforms, that, again, huge right here. You can pick up anything that is not a building item, such as floors, walls, or ceilings, or stuff like that. Any placeable item. You could pick them up and move them anywhere. Awesome is because you could pick up a completely full chest and move it anywhere you want to and drop it without the items being dumped into your backpack or you losing them. Love that. Love that. Just It's, it's awesome because now you can just... You rearrange your house whenever you want, and it's awesome. Uh, so the the area crafting again within five uh, five squares. I've tested this out on the um, the test server. You if if your chests are within five five squares of your crafting tables, and it's a bubble, so uh, vertical and horizontal. It's within a bubble. You'll be able to craft the item without going over to the uh, chest and putting everything in your backpack that you need because that can get very... That took a while, so this is awesome as well. Uh, you place the uh, items like grass and weed stems on zip lines. Uh, we were able to do that in the 0 0.6.2, uh, but now I think they have a little, um, little like animation of having them actually connected to the line. A lot of people are like, well, when would I use this? I use this all the time, building by the lake. Uh, in, one of my, in one of my gameplay videos, I will go ahead and start doing that more to show you what's going on with that. Uh, player characters have improved stagger animations, um, changes in tuning. This is big. You'll have to listen to the hunger and thirst effects, which is actually further down. But bonuses now activate at 80% instead of 90%. And those bonuses, which I never really saw them before this, but now they're 80%. So if you're above, um, if, if you stay well fed and, and hydrated, um, your hunger bonus will heal you over time. If, as long as you're above 80%, thirst bonus increases your stamina regen as long as you're above 80% of being not thirsty. Uh, penalty is now below 20%. Which it was at zero, so we did not see any penalties, but now it's activated at 20%. Your hunger caps, uh, your max stamina, and thirst reduces stamina. So there you go. Uh, repair recipes, armor glue is no longer in the game. 
Uh, so if you had tons of armor glues around, they're probably gone. Uh, to repair armor, you're going to need 20% um, of their initial ingredients to repair. So if, if you're making, if you have acorn armor, ladybug armor, um, spider armor, any of that armor will need parts from either the insects that you have to get to make the armor or a portion of the ingredients like um, acorn armor. You'll probably need the acorn shells or something like that. So yeah, that's going to be uh, uh, a lot different because uh, I know like spider armor, you need to mess with the wolf spiders and yeah, that's not too fun. But anyways, uh, weapons now only take one quartzite and a minimum amount of their initial ingredients for repair. So kind of like the armors, but you add one quartzite. Gas mask, when you go into the hazard zones, they now do take damage. So you can't live in the hazard zone with a gas mask. you got to watch to make sure it does not break on you while you're in there. Combat bandages now heal a lot more HP over time. Mosquito needle has, they, they, they've lowered the uh, life stealing ability because I guess it was a, a little bit OP when you were using it. So they, they re, uh, reduced the um, life steal for it. Uh, bees now have two additional attacks. When you're wielding a, sh a shield and canteen, uh, if you hit the uh, block button before you weren't able to drink from your canteen, but now you can block and drink from your canteen, which is pretty good. Huge weevil shield durability is double. I know the weevil shield, I use it all the time now. Love that thing. And, but the only problem is it seems like it broke way too quickly. They doubled how long it will last. That is that is definitely a good one right there. The bratwurst, splatwurst, deal more damage. Pollen shot adds slightly more stun to bow attacks. Um, it's not a percentage, it's just you, you stun more things when you're using the pollen shot on your with your bow. Uh, interface. Let's see. So lasting applied by gear and mutations and temporary status effects appear in your status UI. Edit any weapon on the hot pouch. So down on your hot pouch, the first four spaces used to be like for like melee weapons. And, and pretty much melee weapons. So now it's any weapon that could be put there. I yeah, unless you drag and drop them anyways. Which I mean, okay, that's what I did. I never really paid attention to what the little slots were supposed to be for, and I just put whatever weapon in there. Uh, save games are older five. They'll be marked as so. If you have games that have more than five up, um, five saves, they'll be marked as ancient save warning. The block meter for blocking is now smaller and moved to the right. Kind of gets it out of the way of your fighting. Equipment shield durability is now shown in the HUD. Equipment rating gauges have been converted visually from regular bar to nugget base bar. More icons uh, in the OS tab. The day count in the OS tab has been embiggened. Uh, I, I should have looked that word up. I would think enlarged. But, okay, embiggened. More map. More of the map screen is unlocked by default, so you get to see more of the map screen when you go to the map. Brown and yellow have been added to the icons. Uh, let's see. More uh, icons in the storage and trail markers. Uh, analyze status storage. Blah, blah, blah. Ghost, ghost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, another huge one. When you're out there fighting and, you, and, you, and the, the bug gets you and you have to respawn and you got to go get your backpack and before you have to go look at it and figure out uh, which one you want to hit to get everything back in, it automatically does it now. Um, so when you go over there and you hit your, when you look at it and you hit, I guess, the inventory or something, all that stuff will get back, put back into your backpack unless you already have items. If you had a full backpack and you were carrying some extra items with you, the backpack will still remain with a couple of those items that you still have in there. So that is that is definitely big because when you're trying to pick up a backpack in a bad area that you keep getting killed in, um, yeah, definitely definitely a good thing right there. Uh, okay, so they removed the pre-placed zipline anchors on the paint can and oak leaf tramp lamp tramp oak tree lamp. Um, there, there were permanent uh, zip line things up there, and they kind of went to nowhere, so they removed them. Uh, thistle plants, this is definitely uh, a, a different one. So the thistles no longer give infinite amount of, uh, of needles. 
it, it, when you hit it with the axe, instead you got to harvest it and they have a limited amount and they also respawn over time. So you can't use one plant to just like harvest a thousand needles anymore. Uh, Pebblet foundations now require more pebbles. Sap dripper completely overhauled. Whole new look. Uh, and it actually works. So this one, it's, it's a lot bigger than the other one. Uh, you, and you can place it on building walls. I know I tried when I was in the uh, test server. I tried to place it on grass walls and different things. Um, some walls it won't stick to. I know like uh, walls that had like the uh, stem walls, it would. And so you put it on there and every, every five game hours, one sap will drop. And it can hold up to the total of five sap. Uh, five sap in the little catcher. Uh, previously, it spawned one sap every 24 hours. And that was technically broken useless. I never, I, I put them a couple down. I'm like, one sap when I could go to a tree and get a bunch. So this is, this is kind of good, especially if you're not building near a tree or anything like that. Put a bunch out there and you'll, you'll definitely have some sap. Uh, berry chunks can now be dried into berry leather using the, the jerky rack. Uh, larva, larva, larva will now explore a larger area, so that means they're going to be expanding out from where they're at. And some of us uh, don't like the, the larva. They, they, I, everybody has their little things in this game that they don't like. I, 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 I hate the uh, wolf spiders. Uh, girly, she hates the, the little larvas. Uh, so yeah, now they're going to expand. They also can burrow under the ground. So be careful when you're digging for the, um, the grubs because you can now dig up larva instead. So be, be prepared to fight if that happens. Uh, creatures now take much longer to fully regen without, when out of combat. So that's, that's a good thing. So if you kind of break off combat, like say you got killed and you need to come back, they won't be fully regen when you get back there, if you get that back there quick enough. Now, if you don't go back within a period of time, then of course they're going to regen. Uh, gnats, they're going to be less um, less annoying. They're not going to be bumping you all the, all the time. So that's kind of nice because that was a lot of annoyingness going on with the gnats. Uh, fireflies are going to be able to come back down to the yard. Um... They say the game will no longer lag when placing and removing buildings, uh, but e everybody's system works differently, so you still might get... There will still be issues, but they're, they're, they, for the most part, they're fixing a lot of this stuff. Uh, grid buildings no longer be placed entirely under the train, which I've had a problem lately with that, so hopefully that will be removed when I get into the game. Uh, let's see. Toggle Crouch game... Land only buildings cannot be placed on water. I got a big bug on my screen right now. In real life, uh, let me try to get him. Anyways, uh, let's see. Boy and found palisades will no longer be placed. Be invalid placed on some rock surfaces. Blah 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 blah. Uh, equipment feathers, hedge barriers will no longer disappear. Sap collectors cannot be placed on buoyant foundations. Fin flops plus now behave, behave properly when dropped from player's inventory. Don't really know what that meant. Maybe they just flopped around. I don't know. This bug is still on my screen. Uh, let's see. Fixed mosquitoes sleeping like out in the middle of nowhere floating. So they, they fixed that. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Anything important? Fix some audio, bug fixes. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. So uh, hopefully you you guys enjoy this new uh, uh, quality of life update is what I'm calling it. it it's definitely, um, I, I'm looking forward to playing some more with it. And uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Leave a comment below. Like up, uh, like up, like down. Thumbs up, thumbs down if you like this video or not. And uh, if you if you uh, subscribe, that would be great. And you guys have a great time out there exploring your backyard with the new 0.70 update. Uh, once again, this is Magic Flying Potato, and I am Oot.